Woo, we got a spicy one out there for all of you guys today. Welcome back to the show. As per usual, better have some water, maybe some coffee. Got some NFT drama for some Twitch streamers out there, which is probably going to be an ongoing talk as we've seen several Twitch streamers out there either A, take some NFT partnerships and sponsorships, or B, reject them altogether. If you guys have checked LSF, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. This being around one of your biggest all-time Twitch streamers to go down in the, in the history books as probably one of the most profound, that's going to be... Lyric, yes, he announced, and it was actually via Dot Esports that I found out about this one that he was going to be minting 10,000 personal NFTs for his audience and viewers at a price of $50 per NFT. Of course, that being a half a million dollar drop in total, if I did my math correctly. Obviously, no short chunk of change there, and people were curious as to what his motivations were. Apparently, he was someone who maybe spoke against NFTs in the past and now is maybe for them, having them for his audience and what he compared to having a merch drop, right? You buy your favorite piece of clothing from your favorite creator. You might spend 20, 30, 50. Some people out there, you look at Ray's drop, people were spending hundreds of dollars to support all of their creators out there. So he found that middle ground of comparing this NFT to maybe if your favorite streamer dropped the hoodie or a t-shirt. Now this was met with lots of backlash for a lots of different reasons nfts are very very much controversial i would say right now especially when you drop them on the good old lsf to which uh, apparently lyric has now decided that he's not going to be doing the project any longer but there's gonna be ten thousand of them and they were gonna be i'm just gonna say it all like some of this it's like hey yeah we should wait you know there's like some precautions but i don't really give a fuck at this point like, I, I can be transparent as fuck. It was more like, oh, you know, for the reason of launching something and then it being like a... It being a bigger splash on release. But uh, <clears throat> there were going to be $50, which is 0 0.01 roughly ETH. And there was going to be 10,000 mints of Gears art work using different things that have happened on my stream and different items that kind of tie into the channel. In the chat, if you're not involved in, in NFTs, I don't really care what your opinion is. This is for people in the space. Well, that was a fucking... It has to do with my channel, and it, and uh, it's just you know getting a foot in early. If you don't care about it, who cares? You don't have to worry about it. You're already on your neighbor's Wi-Fi. As he had a few responses here and there, but nothing too major. But he finally did tweet saying, "Yeah, so NFTs. If any of you guys want these to right-click and save as or whatever, LOL, go for it. I personally really like the second one and the 16th that Gears Art made, and the fifth. I went into this with pure intentions for the future, but I'd rather privately collect." then sell. And this actually sparking other drama because there's been a recent website popping up that actually makes clips, uh, favorite Twitch streamer clips into NFTs. Someone like Destiny has actually taken a partnership like this. I believe other Twitch streamers have as well. Some like Miskiff actually rejected several hundreds of thousands of dollars to be partnered up with these NFT-like projects which got a lot of responses. I'm gonna play for you guys a variety of them. Misk have, of course, denying it. We have a, a, a RuneScape streamer I used to watch uh, a, a few times here and there. Uh, is it Alicia or Alicia giving her response to Misk have turning it down and then XQC responding to all of that. I don't have a really a big take on this for the time being, but just to show you all three of their responses, it just shows uh, where we're at right now with uh, Twitch streaming, gaming, NFTs. It's a very, very controversial area where people have a variety of opinions. Cool stuff, you need a lot of money. And speaking of a lot of money, I actually turned down an NFT sponsor recently for $300,000. I turned down a $300,000 sponsor. You wanna know why? Because I didn't wanna get hate on live stream fails. Cool stuff, you need a lot of money. And speaking of a lot of money, I actually turned down an NFT sponsor recently. For three hundred thousand dollars. Wow, you are. Thanks, Miz. You are just so awesome. I'm sure all of your viewers really appreciate how you declined an offer 
for $300,000 when most of us don't even make $100,000 in a year. Thanks, that's really nice. Thank you. That's really something to brag about. You declined an offer for something most of us will never make in like two to three years. Great. Great. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Really nice. Thank you. That's really something. Oh my god. It's not a good take. It, guys, the problem is, is that this is ironic. Because even though she doesn't make 100000 the things that they're selling that are void and empty and worthless inherently, they're selling it to people who can't afford it. To, to broke people. They're, they're selling dreams that are that they know are dog shit to people who can't afford it. That's the problem. Thing to brag about. You declined an offer for something most of us will never make in like two to three years. Great. Great. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck. Wow. My brain stopped functioning after I've watching this clipping. Did you know that? And 10% of the revenue goes to the streamer, okay? Now, there are some legendary Twitch clips out there, okay? Legendary Twitch clips out there of mine that I bet you want me to autograph. And you know what? If you buy it, I can go right up here and click autograph and I can sign whatever NFT you want me to sign, okay? Oh my God. It could be the Dan Litterbox clip. It could be a clip about one of my two Kyle friends. What the fuck? Um, what happened? <clears throat> Guys, what happened? A of a stream? And then very lastly for all of you, bouncing back to Lyric, I'm not really sure how I feel about this, right? I definitely understand where both sides are coming from. 10,000 personal minted. Could he, you know, is that a bit of a cash grab? I don't know. I've seen other streamers like Tifu. I believe Tifu dropped maybe what, three, four, five, a small handful of these NFTs. Even those didn't really sell too well. 10,000 at $50 a piece. Yeah, if you're comparing it to a merch drop though, that simply would make sense. Someone like Ray pulls in, I think it was 40,000 orders at an average order of $100. So someone like Lyric, would that make sense for um, 10,000 pieces at 50 bucks a piece if you're a believer NFTs, but everyone has different beliefs when it comes to NFTs. So I tweeted that out and we got a lot of great responses. Like Ryan, the head of YouTube Gaming says, NFTs in their current well-known form of being digital art is not for everyone. The underlying technology over time will have more interest to gamers, but it's not broadly appealing in its current state. Someone like Elijah saying, if he was transparent about it and set no false expectations, then any and all backlash was because of people's negative preconceived notions of the word NFTs. The only genuine concern I could understand is environmental, but even then it's 90% virtue signaling. Someone like Issa said, it all depends on what he has planned as utility for the NFTs, in my opinion. Then uh, PVPX, he, uh, he dropped people upset over this, but there's creators selling bathtub water. Uh, so that's factual. Then we have Classify saying, so as a content creator, uh, he made something unique and cool for his community, told the people in advance how much it was and what it represents, and still got backlash for it, even though he was transparent about the whole personal project. This crap's wild to me. Monster goes not, it's a cool idea, and influencers should treat it like merch, in my opinion. And then Alexandra Botez says, too early in my opinion. The Twitch audience is very skeptical of NFTs and has bucketed them into scam slash right-click save territory. Reaction is worse when a streamer is sponsored or making money off NFTs, but I've seen it go uh, well when all of the money is raised and goes to charity. So a whole host of different responses out there. I just find it, you know, it's, it's so weird because there's so many angles to approach and debate this topic. Me personally, I didn't mind it. I can also understand though whether it's environmental or maybe of course the fact that some people think it's a cash grab He had previously, you know been against NFTs Maybe, um, you know said some things about them and now taking them back when he can actually make money I, I don't think there's any ill intent from someone like Lyric who very clearly does not need the money But wanted to actually offer something to his audience and viewers that he thought was personal and uh, gonna be made just for them It was it was a cool idea in itself I do enjoy the transparency. I think I'm just gonna ride the middle line here and I think it's unfortunate that because of backlash, we see people stepping away from things that they maybe 
really, really felt strongly for. But hey, maybe a year from now, maybe months from now, he takes that back and says, hey, now is the right time to do so. Lyric stepping away from a half million dollar NFT project because of Twitch backlash. What do you guys think about it? And hey, you know, just take it easy. You can give both sides a variety of opinions out there and every opinion is entitled to it. You guys can just leave a comment down below. Till next time, do me a favor, all right? Coffee, water, I'll catch you back here sometime soon. Take care.